Leaning Tower of Pisa. I couldn't let the chance to see one of the iconic buildings of the world slip by, so we worked a stop here into the itinerary. And I have to say, it's kind of like seeing Tom Cruise in person for the first time. A little smaller than I'd imagined. But also like Tom Cruise, it looked great up close. Constructed mostly of white marble from the nearby mountains, it shares the Piazza dei Miracoli with the Duomo di Pisa. This beautiful cathedral was the first building on this site, completed in 1092, nearly 100 years prior to the start of construction of the Leaning Tower. The third building on the site is the most recent addition to the piazza, the Baptistry, completed in 1363. It's the largest in Italy. Coming around the corner and setting eyes on these grand white marble buildings for the first time is a breathtaking experience that'll stop you in your tracks. I remember my dad had a bottle of Capri cast in a mold of this slightly tipsy looking bell tower and it didn't seem like it could be real. But now being up this close, I couldn't help but thinking, it looked a little like something else. Come on man, this thing is a very large wedding cake. Gazing at that bottle of Capri, I always wondered, how could this happen and who was responsible for it? Well, the first question is easy to answer. The second, not so much. It happened because of poor planning. The soil was just too soft to bear the weight. As far as who the architect was that made this epic miscalculation, although there are a few suspects experts point to, nobody really knows for sure. I guess nobody was rushing to take the credit. The foundation of the tower was laid in 1173, and it didn't take long to discover their mistake. In fact, they only completed the second floor when they had to halt construction because it began to noticeably lean to one side. Oops. Now, not so lucky for the citizens of Pisa, but very lucky for the designers of the tower. A series of wars broke out between Pisa and Genoa, and Pisa and Lucca, and Pisa and Florence, and all that fighting stalled further construction for nearly a century. Those years gave the soil time to settle, they were able to continue building, and it was finally completed in 1372, nearly 200 years after construction had begun. The high side reaches a height of 185 feet, two feet taller than the low side, accounting for a nearly four degree tilt. In 1990, they began a modern re-engineering project to try and stabilize the tower and they succeeded in stopping it from leaning any further. Today, the engineers believe it will be stable for at least another 200 more years. You see, everyone makes mistakes, and some result in amazing beauty, like this one did. Well, if you're gonna make a mistake, make it a big one. Well, that wasn't so hard. 